Yay, puppy. We are down here with puppy Mai. This is our week one video recap. So in these recap videos, I'm going to go through all the behaviors that we have been practicing with the pups this last week so you can see how well they're doing. Oh, do you have to go potty first? If you do, you go in that box. You gotta go potty. What are you doing? You gotta go potty? There you go. Good boy. What a good boy. So we're going to go through all the behaviors that we practiced in this last week um, so you can see how well the puppies are doing with everything. And then next week you'll see all the new things that they've learned. What are you doing, Mike? What are you doing? Yeah. Are we down here to play? What's going on? <laughs> this is a really nice litter. They're very food motivated. You just want to get started? Okay, let's do it. Let's show everyone how, how well you're doing. Okay, so I've got my treats and I got my clicker here. The first thing that we do in week one is we charge the clicker. So we want to make an association with these puppies that the sound of the click means that they're going to get a piece of food. Okay, so they're all doing really well with that. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. So we're going to do that a few times in a row. You can see how excited he is following me around. Good job, buddy. Let's do one more. Oh, yeah. These puppies love to work. After we charge the, the clicker for a few reps, then we're going to move into following a food lure. So I'm going to hold that cookie in my hand, show my that I have it, and then he stays attached to my hand. I can move him around before I click and then feed him that treat. Okay, so we'll do that with both hands. Good boy, my. Good job. So everything we'll do for about three, four reps. We can also pair their name with following the food lure. This is how you can teach your puppy their name. My. Good boy. One more. Finish that one. My, good job. Get it. We can also teach the puppies a release cue or permission to eat the food on the ground. Get it. Good boy. The next behavior that we work on is hand targets. So a little bit different than following the food lure. This one I want him to target his little nose to my flat palm. My, touch. Good boy. Watch that again. My touch. We call the hand target touch. And I want his nose to touch my flat palm. When it does, I click the clicker. My touch. Good job. And then I feed him the cookie. My touch. Very nice, buddy. You're so smart. Why are you so smart? Where's your toy? These recap videos are going to go quick for this litter because they are very food motivated. They love to train. They're lots of fun. They also love to play. Look at you. There you go. There's your toy. Huh? Where's your toy? Get it. Get, get, get it. Yeah. Good boy, my. Oh my goodness. You're so tough. Look at you. Why are you so tough? Good job, puppy. Okay. Let me show you our next behavior after our hand targets, we work on the mat. So step one in the mat, this is gonna turn into a stay behavior. So I'm gonna put the mat down on the ground. What are you doing, puppy? When he gets four feet on it, I'm gonna click the clicker. I'm gonna to start to set those treats down one at a time. Then I'm gonna release him off. Where is it? Okay. Good boy. Let's do that again. Good job. OK, 
Okay. Now feeding him more than one cookie on the mat. Want to build value for him being there. Can you do one more? waiting for him to get four paws on the mat before I click. This week, I don't really care if the puppy's sitting, standing, or laying down on the mat, just the fact that they're on the mat. Okay. All right, so I know that doesn't really look too much like a stay behavior right now, but we add a step to it every week. And this one's really cool to watch how they get better and better at it. We have to build them up to the idea of stay. They're tiny little babies. Oh my God, look at these dogs. You're so patient, waiting for the next thing. Okay, and then so for this week, we also introduced our first position change. Go get it. Bye. Sit. Good boy. Good sit. Okay. Bye. Sit. Wow, you're so smart. Okay. My sit. What a sweet boy. Okay, so usually in week one, we just do the sit. These puppies have just been so happy to work. I did already introduce down. My sit. Good boy. Down, good, down, and stand, stand, wow, okay, good puppy, are you very smart, yeah, Are you ready for more food, huh? They know the drill now. They know they're down here to work. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even want to play with your toys. These puppies love to train. Okay, let's let's do our next uh, our next thing here. We're gonna do some handling exercises. So we want to teach our puppies about restraint. This is really great for the socialization process right off the bat. So I've got some food in one hand. I'm not using the clicker for this because I need both hands for these exercises. What are you doing? You're so cute. <laughs> Come here. He's climbing over my legs. That's a good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna show him that I have the food in one hand. I'm just gonna hold it up here by his nose. I'm not gonna feed him any yet. I'm gonna start by petting him. Then I'm gonna take that same, same hand and I'm gonna bring it underneath his belly. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of hold him still. Okay. Okay, so I want to teach my puppy right off the bat that even if they need to be restrained sometimes, held still. Okay, but that's okay, it's not scary. This will be especially helpful for groomer and vet visits. Yes, now I'm going to move into um, handling some other body parts. So now I'm working on his ears. You found a crumb on the ground, good job. Yes. And so for this, I'm saying yes instead of clicking the clicker since I'm using both hands. Front feet, yes. Yes. Good boy, okay. Oh, that was too. Let's do back feet. Yes. Yes. That's a big treat. Tail, yes. Okay, wow, good boy. So I'm putting my hands all over the puppy right now. I'm holding him still, but I'm also pairing that with a food reward. Good job, buddy. All right, so the very last thing that we did in week one is we socialized them to their harnesses or to a harness. Now, sometimes in the first week when we get them dressed in their harnesses, kind of comical because they act, almost act like they're paralyzed, like they got little straitjackets on, but these puppies, 
they're just uh, really outgoing. They've not really even cared about the harness at all. What do you got on? You got your harness on, Minnie? Okay. Oh boy, am I. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hey, you want to play? All right, so that was everything that we covered each day in our training sessions with um, these puppies for the first week. What you got? In your initial confirmation email, you did get a link to our video library. I really encourage you to um, hop on there, watch the videos for week one. There are much more detailed instructional videos on how we teach all these behaviors and why. So if you're watching some of these things and you're like, oh, why is she doing that? Um, you know, what, what is the reason for that or whatever? Um, give those videos a watch because again, there's a lot more instructions in those videos. Oh, good boy. And then you'll know what to do with your puppies, how to keep working with them when they go home as well. Good boy, my. Yeah. Also in that initial confirmation email, there is a link to book your Zoom lesson for after your puppy goes home. If you click that link now and it doesn't look like I have any availability for after your pups go home, just be patient. Um, that will be updated within the next couple of weeks. Good boy. So maybe check that like right before you, you um, pick up your puppies to book that. So these puppies, really great litter, super food motivated, very easy to train. They love to play all around great temperaments. So that's everything for week one and we will see you next week.